Okay, so um, soloing over a one four five chord progression or any chord progression, you can use. Um, this is one thing that I that I do, and as the charts get a little bit more complicated, actually things get a little a um, little more difficult to um, to get a handle on. But if you're just targeting chord tones on a single string um, for our one four five in the key of C, so we have C major, F major. G7 and back to C major. So if we were just going to find chord tones on each string, um, I mean I have the seven strings here, but just starting with um, the low E for a C major, chord tones we have are C, E, G, and B. So we would target that just on the sixth string. So we have E, G, B, C, E, G, B and C. Okay, and then on the fifth string we would have uh, B, C, E, G, B, C, then E, and then back to G again. And then on the uh, fourth string we would have E, we would have G, then we would have B, then we have C, then E, G, and B. C. On the third string, G string, we have G, then we have B, then we have C, then we have E, then we have G again, then B, then C, and then E. Okay, and then on our second string we have C, and then E, and then G, and then B, then C, and then E. And then G again. Now on the first string we would have open E. Then we have G. Then we have B. C. Then E. G. B. And C. Okay. And then with F major seven we would go through the same process of finding all those notes. You know F A C E F um, A C E F A. F, A, C, E. And then we would go through, uh, let's see, the next string. A, C, E, F, uh, C, E, F, A. And then F, A, C, E. And for G7, the same thing with that. So F, G, B, D. F, G, B, D, uh, G, B, D, F, and then um, B, D, F, G, and then G, or F, G, B, D. Okay, just targeting all those. So if you're soloing only on one string, you know, starting with... Um, along with the backing track just do one string at a time I'll just show you how to do that um, just kind of picking the chord tones out I mean occasionally you'll probably hit different notes that are not chord tones but just you know um, if it's in the key it doesn't really matter um, just the, this is this more or less of a mental physical exercise to kind of get yourself into uh, thinking only about chord tones um, and then trying different ways to get that on the fretboards this is not about um, um, you know, shredding these ideas out. This is about a mental, physical um, type of exercise. So, um, next thing I'll show you is with the backing track. Um, you know how to target those those tones, and you know just do a solo over one, four, five. Okay.
So that's just one example of you know how you can just target all those particular uh, chord tones on each individual string. So that's one way of doing it. The other way of doing it is um, by doing arpeggios um, or just triads. You know you can just do simple triads. You know and just use those. You know through the octaves. I mean that's one way you can do it. tons of other ways and then the next thing to do is to you know talk about like you know how to approach each of those chord tones possibly you know you can approach it from you know a note above note below you can use um, passing tones to go up to notes you can use chromatic tones things like that and those are all subjects um, you know I can get into later because um, I can make a whole uh, hour-long video of just explain you know chord tones and how to approach them so um, that's just one way of doing it and uh, you know, uh, feel free to check out any other lesson material that I have at guitarlessonsbuffalonewyork.com. And, um, you know, hope you get a little something out of this. And we'll talk about plenty of other things later on. So all the best to you, and we'll see you around soon.